Well, good afternoon, everybody. I've had a few questions and comments regarding uh, something I had said here, oh gosh, a week or two ago, that I was going to put a video up on the do's and the don'ts of living in the Philippines. <laughs> and I got uh, some some good response on that and I, I think everybody's kind of waiting for it so I'm going to do probably two videos here uh, the first one here is going to be on the don'ts okay what not to do if you decide to uh, permanently live here in the Philippines or even visit for an extended period of time I want to let you know that these are only suggestions and my personal opinion, which comes from, uh, oh gosh, this May, it's going to be nine years that I've lived here. So I think I've got a little bit of experience uh, in the culture and in the Filipino people here. And I've seen enough expats uh, in order to... <laughs> tell you what uh, basically the do's and don'ts should be and what's basically happened to some of them and that uh, because uh, to me specifically <coughs> excuse me they're not doing the right thing here in the Philippines by not being able to mix into the Philippine culture and lifestyle the first video here is going to be like I said on the don'ts what not to do if you're living in the Philippines or decide to move here do not get involved in the government and in the politics of the Philippines now they call themselves a democracy uh, I guess you could call them that uh, I've heard that they call themselves the Republic of the Philippines. I really question that as uh, they don't uh, in any measure fulfill the definition of Republic. In any case, I've looked at them um, after years of being here as basically, basically an oligarchy run by 70, 80, 90 or so families that basically in every election all the way from the barangay level up uh, change members within the family <laughs> but the politics in general stays uh, pretty much the same as an outsider and most of the expats that come here are retiring here they have uh, in general found themselves a Filipina girlfriend or wife that they're either returning here with from the US to Australia, Canada, or Europe, or they've met somebody over the internet like myself, decided to uh, basically come here to visit, and after my first visit decided that, wow, I wanna live here. I wanna be able to move here and mix in with the Philippine culture and lifestyle. You'll learn very quickly that corruption here is uh, part of the government it is all the way from the Brongai level all the way up to the national government in Manila uh, it, it's kind of a part of the culture here uh, and just don't get involved in it in that if you want some peace and tranquility which I definitely came here for I came here for the beauty of a tropical environment in the hopes of peace and tranquility in the remaining years of my life. And I would hope the same thing for you. If you want to preserve that, don't get involved in the politics, okay? You could wind up with a one-way ticket out of here. It's that symbol. Or you could wind up in another circumstance that I don't even want to talk about, okay? Let's just call it uh, uh, a pine box <laughs> or something similar accordingly. Just don't get involved in the politics here. 
Number two, and even bigger than number one, do not get involved in the drugs. Remember, this is a third world country. The jails here, the prison system here, is something you do not want to have any type of personal experience with. So stay away from the drugs. Since President Duarte came to power, he has basically a war on drugs here. So many people have died and lower level people in the supply chain here. Like I said, you just do not want to get involved in anything associated with using drugs here and especially not bringing drugs here or taking drugs out of here. You are on a one-way ticket to some place you don't ever want to go or experiences you don't ever want to experience. If that is anywhere in your intentions, stay where you are because the consequences here could wind you up in that pine box I just previously mentioned okay so number one don't even get involved in the politics number two stay away from the drugs as far away as you possibly can because you'll just wind up in a place you don't want to go to and in a situation that you've got no way out of and kind of the third and final thing that I bring up here is what I've seen happen with a lot of expats that move to the Philippines, whether it's from the United States, from Canada, from Australia, uh, from Europe, wherever they come from, they have a tendency to bring their attitude along with them. And in most cases, that attitude does not mix very well with the culture and lifestyle of the Philippines. And it's just that simple. What's my third point here? Leave your attitude and your drama wherever you came from. Do not bring it here. Because you'll only create a situation again that you <laughs> really it'll be impossible for you to get out of. And just remember, this is not America. This is not Canada. This is not Australia. This is not Europe. It is the Philippines. And they have a particular culture here and a particular lifestyle here. And to mix your attitude in there is definitely a road that you do not want to tra travel on. The Philippines is a family-oriented, a clan-type culture. It's like where we live in Burgos here. It is a family clan that are our neighbors. Most people in every sense are related in one form or another. This happens throughout the Philippines because there's different languages in the north and in the south. There's, oh gosh, they're, they're talking about a hundred different dialects here. There's some people and some clans here that don't even understand uh, the national languages here. That this is definitely a family type clan culture. And anytime you confront a member of the family, or a member of that clan in a angry type atmosphere or raise your voice against them you are attacking the family and the clan and you will find out that the consequences are not in your favor so treat everybody treat the families Treat the members that you live with, your neighbors, with respect, and in return, you will be treated with respect. You get on their nerves, and I'm telling you, you're going to be an outcast no matter where you live. And it'll happen so soon, you won't even recognize it. And 
they are long suffering here. They have a long term memory. They do not forget very easily. And that's what a clan's all about. That's what a family's all about. You stand up for family members, you support family members, right or wrong. You are in back of them. You get involved in that. And like I said, leave your attitude. And what do I mean by attitude here? And that essentially what I mean is demanding everything be done your way. The most clear evidence of that here is when you're building a house, a home, or, or, or something here that you want to live in with your Filipina girlfriend or, or wife, Annette, and you demand from the Filipino workers that it be done exactly your way, according to your standards, your dimensions, your measurements. They just don't build like that here. And if you demand it your way, you're going to continuously run into a brick wall. And that brick wall is going to cause a separation between you and the workers that will probably never be repaired. They have a way of doing things. They have a way of building things with simple tools here that to me is absolutely amazing. When we build all of our houses here that we built, and even our farm here, I basically gave them a general idea of what I want and then let them alone. Let them do whatever they needed to do in order to construct that. We live in a very open environment type house here in Burgos and I love it that way. If you need your house completely closed in, completely bug free, uh, everything's got to be measured precisely. Uh, and I can go on and on and on and on and on. It's got, they got to use this kind of bricks, this kind of cement, and all the bit, 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 bit. I can go on and on and on and on. You're going to keep running into a brick wall. The work they do here is not perfect, it is sufficient. And that is a big difference. It is sufficient for what they've done all their lives. They've been raised, and the workers here, and the carpenters here, and the masons here, they've got their way of doing things, which to you is going to seem archaic, and in a much broader sense of the word it is, but let them do it. They've been born and raised that way. And in the end, they put together some amazing structures and sound structures doing exactly that. By interfering constantly with them, you're going to cause an argument that's going to result in a separation, and you're going to find yourself all alone, and boy, like I said, it happens. And it happens here even on the island of Bohol with some of the expats here. It has caused a lot of division amongst the Filipino people and the expats that are moving here. Don't do it. Let them do it their way. You may not agree. Hold your tongue. You may want it done your way. Then you're probably going to have to do it yourself. Because <laughs> I'll tell you what, you can tell them what to do as soon as you turn your back and walk away. They're going to go back to the way that they've always done it. What does it come down to here? It comes down to assimilate. Don't agitate. That's what I mean by leave your attitude from wherever you came from. If you're going to come here, assimilate. If you want to live a Western lifestyle here, maybe you ought to just live a Western lifestyle where you're at. If you want to live it and do it all your way, maybe you just better stay where you're at. It's a different culture here, a different environment here. When you come here and you don't want to assimilate, by the nature of the beast, you're going to agitate. And I don't know about you, but I love the neighborhood I'm in here in Burgos. We've got lots of family and friends close by. Our neighbors 
we've never had a problem with them. We enjoy their friendship. They enjoy our hard work and as much work as Beth and I have put into this place. And that's exactly the way it should be. So if you're going to decide to come here, like I said, stay out of the politics. Stay away from the drugs completely, 150%. Don't have nothing to do with them. Don't have them in your house. Don't associate with people who do, period. And leave your attitude where it's at and be a part of the Filipino people here. Okay? Assimilate. We called it the great melting pot in America. And the thing that's happening now is because for years and years and years, the foreigners coming in are no longer assimilating. They're agitating. They refuse to assimilate. And whenever that happens, you're going to have a culture at odds with each other. Don't let it happen here. It's a beautiful country. The people in, in the country, living in the country, the poverty here, they are so friendly, so willing to help, so willing to be a part of your life as you want to be a part of their life. So assimilate to the culture here. And I've seen as long as this has gone already, I need to do part two with the do's here. But these are basically the don'ts in order for you to actually live in the peace and tranquility like I want to here. And it is. It is a beautiful tropical paradise where you can retire, where you can live in peace and tranquility, remain anonymous to everybody and everything that's going on. It's nice when I tell somebody how long I've been here and they're going, wow, and I don't know you. That's kind of nice. It means I've assimilated into the culture and blended into the culture here. And that's exactly what I want anybody that moves here to do. When you come here, you're a visitor. If you want to stay here, make sure that you no longer are just a visitor, but that you are part of the Philippine culture and lifestyle. So I'm going to say goodbye for now. I'll be back in another video to talk about what to do in the Philippines. And I've already expressed uh, quite explicitly on some things you really need to do here in the Philippines. But until then, we'll say goodbye. Uh, like and subscribe and God bless all of you.